Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to walk you through the basics of a robots.txt file which essentially is going to help you to control what search engines do in relation to your website. So before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Alright so jumping straight in we will use my website as an example so I'm just going to show you something very very quickly in case you are not aware that this is something that you could do. So for most websites, when you have your site, for example, I used a pre-built website editor for my website, but typically for most sites, you can actually go to that website and then you can put slash sitemap.xml. Now this sitemap is basically what it sounds like, the map of your website for the most part. So what you can do is that's just one thing that we're gonna be working with in a moment. So what I use to get a sample txt file and help break it down is chat gpt but you won't need to log in and do that i'll show you the basics here so for the most part you're just going to be opening a text editor like notepad and then you're going to start out with your blank document now step three is one of the critical parts here so you'll see we have user user agent as a star or an asterisk now when i'm using this i'm doing the same exact thing and you'll see the reason here so if you want to give instructions to all search engines you're going to use that but if you want to give instructions to a specific search engine, you can use its user agent name. Then you'll see that we have directives for each user agent. So you'll see disallow specifies the directories or pages that should not be crawled, which is the most critical part here. Then you'll see it says to disallow crawling of a specific directory, you can do that here. And then of a specific page, you can do that here. Now it'll help you a lot if you have your sitemap so that you can better understand, okay, where are the different pages, what are they called, etc. And also what pages are there to choose from. Then you'll see here we can specify the location of the XML sitemap and you'll see the example document here and then the final example text document. So if I were wanting to do this, then I would essentially save this document here after I edit this portion to match my website. So basically it's going to say, hey, don't crawl. And then I specify the pages here and then I have the sitemap. So it's pretty simple to follow. Now there are a couple of things to note and I'm just pulling this one up on a Google web page. You can see the link up here, but there are a couple of things. So first and foremost, the rules may not be supported by all search engines. They could be interpreted differently and this one here is also very, very critical with regards to indexing from other websites. So basically you can control links from your website through this method. So this doesn't cover everything, but I hope it's enough of a resource to get you started. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.